Whiskey Cast. Brought to you by Redbreast. The definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Those in the know, know Redbreast. This is whiskey. Johnny Walker's Scotch whiskey. From this place and these people, I, Scotch makers. Creating the bold and complex flavour of Johnny Walker Black Label. Step right up. Sazerac's Barton 1792 Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky, usually stays out of the headlines. Until June 22nd, when half of Warehouse 30 in the hills overlooking the distillery collapsed, and around 9,000 barrels of whiskey spilled onto the ground. The rest of the warehouse came down on July 4th with another 9,000 or so barrels, leaving a pile of debris 30 to 40 feet high. While the site has been closed to two reporters since the initial collapse, Sazerac has now released the first video of cleanup work. Barton Safety Director Bob Mahana provides the narration. The barrel recovery process starts with the large crane picking the barrels from the debris pile. The operator will gently place the barrel into the first staging area. At this point, a smaller crane picks up the barrel and moves it to the second staging area. While Sazerac executives are not doing interviews on the cleanup, it's clear that the idea is to keep workers as far away from that pile as possible. At this point, a bobcat then picks up the barrel and takes it for the first initial inspection. Remember, that pile of barrels is still unstable and many of the barrels are still full of flammable whiskey. At this point, the Barton operator will then visually inspect the barrel for any obvious damage or leaks. Barrels that pass that initial inspection have their lot numbers recorded and are then loaded onto a trailer to be moved to another warehouse. The barrels that need repairs get worked on at the site, but those that are too damaged to be repaired are being drained into a tote tank, and the whiskey will eventually be refilled into new barrels. There are still thousands of barrels left on that debris pile, and the cleanup process could take many more months. Only then will investigators be able to get down to the bottom of things and figure out what caused that rickhouse to collapse in the first place before they build a new one on the same site. Join us for our podcasts at whiskeycast.com for more cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them, the people who drink them, and sometimes the people who clean them up. I'm Mark Gillespie.